Hi guys, we're just here uh, testing the belt, uh, the belt to gear conversion on this um, <coughs> FW450. Uh, I've done my GPS checks, I've rotated the heli and it all seems to be good. So I tried the other day to fly and I actually didn't record. So let's see if we have any. As usual I go straight to, to Atti mode. I have it here. Atti mode you'll see when you flick there will be a red light flashing. GPS green of course. So uh, yeah let's give it a go. I actually want to fly this battery flat to see how long it flies. So it's a fairly wind still day. Let's uh, test the GPS quickly. And we'll flick it to GPS. And back to Atty. As I say, it is a wind still, very wind still, so this is just a bit of a breeze. very hot it's about 35 degrees which is maybe not ideal I should have come in a little bit later maybe let's try a bit of an orbit nice I've uh, since fitting the gear drive I've just changed the head speed from 70 to 75 because I found it a little bit lacking but uh, that seems to be okay now also flying in sports mode and I've set my agility from 50 to 30 Taylor is nice and quiet. Let's see if we can have a listen to that quickly. Because I have the six inch prop on here. Slight breeze from the left, so this is an atti mode, you'll see it will start drifting.
give it some full stick. That's full speed. So I'm going to fly, I've got a, my timer set to 8 minutes. Um, let me just stick it into GPS mode and see where we are. There's a breeze coming up. We're at 2 minutes. Also have my stopwatch set. We're at 2 minutes left, I mean. I have my stopwatch set. Uh, look at that uh, wind. Get it back to altitude mode. Cut a small hole in the canopy just to aid with hopefully with a bit of cooling. Here's the maximum tilt and to the right and forward. It's a little bit choppy. Let's try GPS mode again. I've got it up here, so I've picked the GPS. So guys, if you're flying in ATI mode, let's say you're flying and you lose your orientation, let's say you're here, you don't know where you are, just flick it to GPS, just a flick like that, and then you can control it easier, it won't go anywhere. And when you're ready, you can just flick back to ATI. Uh, well, from what I can see, the gear drive seems to be working pretty well. I like this head speed. Uh, 75 for it. Six, uh, 75. Yes, 70 was just a little bit not quite where I wanted. Timer is up. Stopwatch is still going. Hoping to get about 12 minutes out of this. So I'm just going to keep it uh, close by. I have my beeper on there. It's fairly loud. A lot of wind now. Uh, pretty agile because it doesn't weigh much now anymore with a 2200 battery it's just on a 1080 grams that's probably why the wind is throwing it around so nicely let me just uh, check the timer beeper hasn't gone off yet 
just sticking it uh, into GPS quickly so I can look at the timer. We're at nine and a half minutes. Back to Etty. Let's give it a full climb out. That's a full climb out and a full drop. It could maybe do with a bit more negative pitch. I'll have a look at that next time I connect it up to the PC to see what my negative pitch is. Of course we are on Atty mode so that will change slightly. These yellow tip blades look quite nice, I think. So I think we must be approaching approaching the um, limit now. We're at ten and a half minutes. Going to keep it close by now. There we go. There's my beeper. Uh, 11 minutes 20. 11 minutes 20. So, a very easy eight minutes, obviously. Yeah, that's, uh, that's hot. Hot as, hot as it usually is. Uh, tail motor. Tail motor is ambient. Uh, people have asked me to make a video on how to convert this, but Really guys, it's so easy. I don't think I need to bother with that. Uh, just get the parts that you need are the bell parts. The parts from the bell, not the parts from the version 3 or 3. You get the bell parts from the bell or the UH1. So that's the pinion, gear and the gear holder. And then that will That will, uh, if I can get some focus, that'll screw in there as usual. We just need to move the motor. Let me just spin it around. So the original motor holes were here for the belt version. So that's where the new motor sits. And uh, as usual, you want the tiniest of play here, just a, just the tiniest of play. Don't don't make this too tight. The gap here, if you can hear a tiny tick 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 tick, just like this, then you're good. Um, make sure to uh, tighten all the screws, and then this is a little 3D printed. A 3D printed um, anti-rotation bracket, which uh, passes, goes around the motor basically, but there's still plenty space. And I've checked the maximum and minimum pitch, and it doesn't touch the motor. So, there we go. I'll put the files in a link below. Uh, the files for uh, that, and the part numbers those but I'm not going to build uh, do a build video thanks